From using aimbot during a live CSGO tournament to completing Super Mario 64 with a see-through blindfold, these are the dumbest streamers who are caught in 4K cheating, beginning with Elm Zero, who accidentally left his aimbot on whilst trying out for a professional esports team. Up until this point, Elm Zero had built up a respectable 3,000 Twitch followers for his impressive Apex Legends gameplay. However, while trialing for the pro team Zenith, judges noticed that his aim was almost too impressive. And while this first kill was arguably still possible without aimbot, his next kill was significantly more suspicious. Elm Zero shoots through the wall as if he already knew where the enemy was, before locking onto the player with near perfect accuracy. Elm Zero was instantly called out in a Twitter post reading, How are people streaming cheats in Scrims Lameo? Which received a response explaining that he was known for cheating on PUBG in the past. One of my accounts was banned from PUBG. I was banned by the PUBG Corp for, I mean, my ban message said hacking. Determined to expose Elm Zero for good, another clip was tweeted of him warming up for the match, in which his aim was once again robotically accurate. Accurate, and with the evidence seeming conclusive, Zenith Esports would make a tweet explaining that Elm Zero was not contracted with us and has been removed from our trial process, which was followed by Elm Zero deleting all of his social media before disappearing from the internet. Semper 0311 was even stupider, as after going live playing the game Destiny 2, he'd forget to hide the aimbot program altogether. At the time, he was streaming to a small audience of only 16 people, however, this was enough for one of his viewers to notice the fishy gameplay, right? Writing in the chat is that aimbot. On your screen, it has like red squares around them. Semper was dumb enough to read the comments out loud. My screen has red squares around them. And after pretending to be confused for a couple of seconds, the stream ended abruptly and the footage was deleted. In the days that followed, Semper denied cheating and threatened to ban anyone bringing it up. No, it's not. No, it's not. And I didn't, dude. If you want to get banned, you can keep saying that. Yet after being pressured by the audience, Semper admitted to cheating in the weakest way possible. There was wall hacks on my computer yesterday on stream. Like, I'm not denying that. I just don't know how they got there. However, at least Semper eventually admitted to some kind of wrongdoing as the next person blamed her cheating on a non-existent person. The streamer in question went by the name of Miss Q Gemini, and just prior to being exposed, she'd state that people often called her a cheater simply because she was female. You know what's really sad? That sometimes, you know, because I'm female in Counter-Strike, people are like, you're cheating! However, the real reason behind behind why she was called a cheater revealed itself just minutes later as she'd begin her first CSGO game of the stream with wall hacks enabled. Ah, what? They're mid. Mid. To be. I'm going back to be. After dying in the game, she'd come to notice her colossal size mistake and attempted to play the whole thing off by stating that she had some weird glitch. Do you guys ever get that uh, that weird glitch in CSGO where it shows your rank, that it shows everyone's rank? I played the other day with Rock and he got that and now I have it. I don't know what's why. It's weird. Which was then followed by Miss Q Gemini stating that someone named Clara had been playing on her computer earlier that day. <gasps> Wait, Clara, hold on. Clara, give me one second. Clara, let me just message this girl. Give me one second. Why is this on my computer right now? Where is this? How do I close this? I need to text my friend Clara right now. She was at my house earlier today. I'm literally gonna kill her. She promised me she didn't use it on my PC. Clara, out of all people, this is what happens when you let people use your PC. Realizing that there was no getting out of this, Miss Q Gemini began to trade all of her items to a brand new account. Yet unfortunately, this wouldn't stop a Twitch ban, which happened later that day. And while it's certainly shameless to blame a friend for the hacks on your computer, it's not nearly as shameless as aimbotting during a professional CSGO tournament, which is what would happen in the case of Optic Forsaken. Forsaken had joined the Indian Optic group in May 2018, and in the five games played after joining, Forsaken had always placed either second or first. While many assume that Forsaken was nothing more than a very talented player, it will be after flying to a $100,000 prized professional tournament in Shanghai, China, that Optic Forsaken was exposed brutally. The tournament began with Forsaken taking large breaks in the warm-up rounds, as if he was trying to set something up on his computer in the background, yet it would only be after the main matches began that Forsaken's plays became incredibly suspicious. This first strange flick into the ground was followed by countless examples of him locking perfectly onto the enemy. On 
while there was a chance that some of these kills could still be made by a high level player, it will be with one final matchup that Forsaken's aimbot became obvious. After locking onto the enemy through a wall, event organizers called a timeout, and officials made their way over to Forsaken's computer to figure out if he was cheating. At first, Forsaken refused access to his computer, however the officials would ignore this and look anyway, during which Forsaken kept pushing them away from his computer while he tried to delete the aimbot right in front of their faces. Despite having traveled all the way from India, Forsaken and the whole Optic team were instantly disqualified from the tournament, which became even worse when Forsaken issued a public statement, explaining that neither his team, manager or coach had even the faintest idea that he was hacking. The scandal eventually resulted in Optic India shutting down altogether, but Forsaken isn't the only person in this video to cheat in a professional tournament. Because during a professional Fortnite tournament with a $500,000 prize, the following scenario happened to a player by the name of Marky Locurus. Despite being down and finished countless times by his opponent, a glitch prevented Marky from being eliminated. Whilst being revived, Marky told his teammate to keep quiet about what had happened, which was followed by the two unfairly killing the player who had downed Marky originally. After continuing to play normally, Marky was approached by event organizers who asked him to leave the match, yet he'd refused stating that what had happened was a glitch and was part of the game. While he would eventually give up and leave, this prompted discussion online about whether Marky had cheated or not. I don't think he is cheating, I think he just went with it. All these kids saying he wasn't cheating. He knew he wasn't taking damage and got revived and continued the game even though he should have died. That's considered an exploit and is cheating. Fun fact, the first clip was actually a glitch, but he decided to abuse it. There was certainly an argument for whether or not Marky's behaviour constituted cheating, however the same couldn't be said for Captain Baldy, who accidentally showed his aimbot whilst trying to prove that he wasn't cheating. Up until this point, Captain Baldy had built up a warzone kill death ratio of over 2, yet similar to the Apex Legends play in the beginning, Captain Baldy would be called out on Twitter after locking onto an enemy who was running behind a wall. Another clip then surfaced where Captain Baldy displayed suspiciously accurate shooting, And as a result, his chat began to fill with people calling him a cheater. Determined to prove his innocence, Captain Baldy agreed to show his task manager, yet hilariously seemed to instead tap the key which brought up his cheat menu. Task manager? Yo, they want my task manager? Hold up. Control, delete. No, control, delete, task manager. Put it up, throw it up. Oh my god. The chat then mocked Captain Baldy relentlessly, which was followed by a live Warzone ban later in the stream. Disconnected from COD. No way. Damn no no <laughs> With the Captain Baldy saga ending with the deletion of his entire Twitch channel. Getting caught while checking the task manager was a trend continued by Call of Duty streamer Young, although he didn't take his expose as humbly as Captain Baldy did. Young's viewers noticed that he always seemed to know where the enemy was coming from, so just like our last cheater, the audience requested that he show his task manager. Now, Young wasn't dumb enough to bring up the entire cheat menu, however after accessing the task manager, his stream display bugged out and showed a second window where his hacks could be seen clearly. After being banned from Call of Duty, Young would take to his Twitter on which he'd make an idiotically arrogant tweet reading, got mad free press tonight, over 2k views overall. Some people even posted my gameplay online. Thanks for the shoutouts people, really appreciate the help, although these 2000 views worth of free press didn't contribute to the long-term growth of his career, as Young hasn't gone live on Twitch ever since. However, Young still looks like a genius in comparison to Twisted Bear, whose Twitch description boldly claimed that he was the top Modern Warfare player. The reason for this claim would become apparent in July of 2020, when he'd go live displaying his skills, only he completely forgot that he had his wall hacks on. The end to Twisted Bear's career was then unbelievably quick. He was banned from Call of Duty, then Twitch, and was never heard from ever again. But this 
is what separates Twisted Bear from the next cheater, Mr. Golds, who made a much larger spectacle over his cheating ban. Mr. Golds was a much more significant figure in the Call of Duty community, sporting a Twitch follower count of over 50,000. During a live stream to an audience of approximately 1,700 people, Mr. Golds brought up his task manager before beginning to brag about how he was so good at Call of Duty that he didn't need to cheat. Is it the first time you see someone good at the game? Have you ever seen anyone playing like me? It's like, like seriously. Although he didn't seem to notice that he'd also accidentally brought up his cheat menu on which he had aim at enemies turned on. Despite having 1,800 viewers at the time, almost nobody was talking in the chat or calling him out for it, showing that he was probably also viewbotting. However, while the chat remained pretty quiet, the incident was shared to Twitter where it received over 2,000 likes and 700 retweets. After being temporarily banned from Call of Duty and Twitch, Mr. Golds would upload an apology video in which he'd state that he didn't mean to download the cheats. I truly am sorry about I didn't mean to. What does he mean, I didn't mean to? You don't download and use cheats without meaning to. I mean, come on, buddy. Before going on to try and convince his audience that this wasn't who he was. This is not who I am. This is really not who I am. Despite having cheated for months in the lead up to his expose. These days, Mr. Gold's Twitch channel is an advertisement for big cryptocurrency giveaways from Tesla, which sounds like an even bigger scam than his wall hacks. However, a more interesting question to ponder is what happens when a game developer gets caught cheating on his own game. This is what happened to Ortonil, the H1Z1 technical director, who was caught using invisibility whilst live on stream. What's happening? Why are you cheating? Really, dude? You're cheating. A dev cheating. Wait, wait, can you not, can you not see, see him? him? You can't see me? Oh my god, am I hidden? Oh my god. Yeah, judging from his reaction, the cheat had definitely been left on accidentally. Oh my god, I'm so sorry guys. I'm so sorry guys. Damn, I actually feel for the dev. You can tell he felt really bad. Poor guy, lol. However, there was absolutely no accidents coming from FaZe Jarvis, who was given a lifetime ban on Fortnite after cheating publicly. On the 4th of November 2019, FaZe Jarvis would upload a video titled Fortnite Gave Me Aimbot, in which he'd explain that he was given hacks by an unknown person in random duos. Something crazy actually happened. I got in a random duos game, and he was telling me like he can get aimbot and everything. And then he was going to test the hacks for his video. This is what happens. Look, aimbot, FOV, aimbot. I don't know what half this stuff means, but it's it's actually about to be lit. We're about to pop off. Over the following seven minutes, Jarvis lit up every single person in the lobby with his insane aimbot accuracy. Oh my gosh, man. Oh, oh. oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? Whilst explaining that he was using a new account and a new computer so he wouldn't get banned. Obviously, I don't want to have aimbot on my main account. I had to go on a new PC. Like, I don't want to get my main PC banned. Jarvis finished the video by once again reiterating that you shouldn't hack and that his dummy account was most certainly going to get banned. Never use aimbot, okay? Never do it. You're going to get banned. I'm 100% going to get banned on this account. Yet he probably didn't expect that Fortnite would watch his video and ban every single one of his accounts permanently. In the days that followed, Jarvis would upload a new video video titled I've been banned from Fortnite I'm sorry in which he'd explained that he could no longer play the game I have actually been permanently banned on Fortnite for life recently I posted some videos of me using aimbot it didn't even cross my mind to think that I could be banned for life on Fortnite before stating that he was extremely sorry for his actions you know it's, it's obvious that I made a massive mistake and of course I would never think about doing anything like this again I know now how big of a mistake this was and like I, it's just there's, there's nothing I can... <laughs> the video accompanied a tweet by Jarvis reading, I'm going to take accountability for my actions and I understand completely why this has happened. I just wish I had known how severe the consequences were at the time and I would have never thought about doing it. I love all of you who still support me. This is not the end. And while Jarvis did seem quite apologetic for his actions, Fortnite would make an example out of Jarvis by banning any new accounts that he tried to create. The interesting thing is Jarvis's punishment was still less severe than super fast jellyfish who might have the craziest cheat
speeding story in this whole video. Superfast Jellyfish was a Super Mario 64 speedrunner who wanted to join the exclusive nine person list of Super Mario players who had completed the game whilst blindfolded. In the lead up to his blindfolded attempts, Superfast Jellyfish had been playing Super Mario 64 for three and a half years, leading him to believe that he had enough experience to beat the game without eyesight, and apparently he was correct, as he'd successfully complete the blindfolded challenge after only three tries. However, his ability to complete the challenge with such ease prompted a user by the name of Charlie Brown 64 to upload a video titled Obvious Cheetah Fakes Blindfolded Super Mario 64 Speedrun, in which he tears Superfast Jellyfish's run to absolute shreds. Only a true gamer such as this man would be able to somehow sidestep this Goomba, quickly make his way up the path, and then do this long jump to the next red, all completely blindfolded, and with absolutely no setup necessary. Not only does he somehow know exactly where the 1-up box is, but he also knows exactly what direction the 1-up will go in once it spawns, something completely determined by RNG. Then, after chasing it on a moving platform for a completely arbitrary amount of time, he somehow knows exactly when and where to jump to the left. Watch now as he somehow knows exactly where he is on the spinning platform and knows exactly where the first pole is. Again, anyone who was actually blindfolded here would have probably just kept holding left and run off. However, this guy is able to make a completely random amount of adjustments to make it onto the pole. 19 days after Charlie Brown would upload his expose, Superfast Jellyfish uploaded a bizarre apology video in which he'd try to claim that the run had been faked deliberately. That speed run was purposely fake. It was purposely fake. Yet nobody seemed to buy any of his lies as Superfast Jellyfish's time in the spotlight ended with a dislike ratio of over 95%.